Hello, Pisces viewers. Sorry I've been off for so long, but I'm back now. And as always, if you want a private reading, my email is below in the description box, right below this video. Let's get into it. Let's see what the energy is. I'm going to be doing some uh, Twin Flame readings and like karmic third party readings as well as explaining those terms in the near future as well. So stay tuned for that. If this resonates, please subscribe. We have the Magician. We have the Death card. That's interesting. And death is often just like a transformation. Queen of Cups reversed. Okay, what I'm seeing here... Hmm, Eight of Swords. Actually, let me see. <laughs> let, me, let me wait. Let's wait a second. Eight of Swords, Ten of Swords, Five of Wands. Queen of Wands. Okay, this is a love reading is what I'm getting. Nine of Swords. Knight of Pentacles. Okay. Okay, so I know what the story is now. Okay, so I feel like... This feels like someone that you're really in love with that you're not wanting to let go of. Like, this doesn't feel like a new person coming around. This feels like someone that you have history with. Um, even if it's only a few months of history, this just feels like someone where you like, you know that they're your person, you know, you know, this is the person that you want to be with. So you're strategizing, you're not willing to let this go. Um, you feel like this person is like a soulmate or twin flame. So you're strategizing because you've seen in the past that they've just been hot and cold or flaky, or they've taken you for granted. Um, or maybe they told you that they weren't ready for a relationship. There could have been third parties involved. So it's like one of those situations where it's like, you know, that it's like the right person, but maybe like the timing has been off. And so you're trying to shift the circumstances. Some of you are actually like literally doing magic. Like some of you are witches and you're actually doing magic on this person and it is working. There's a couple warnings here though as well. Um, yeah, it's like you're in the magician energy. So whatever it is, whether this is you, you know, using a vision board, affirmations, actually lighting candles and doing magic, um, or just, you know, being in that kind of emperor, empress energy and just taking control of this and, you know, doing what you need to do to manifest this. I feel like, you know, you are the magician here. You are manifesting this. You are bringing about this change. Like this person is going through a transformation. So death is often like a, like a metaphorical death and rebirth process. It's like this person is changing their old ways. They're coming out of this old energy. They're coming out of their old ways and they're going through this kind of transformation. It's like where you've, you've been kind of, you might, maybe you've even planted some seeds in their head or you've kind of told them like how you want to be treated in the past or because I feel like there's things that you've said to them that they're thinking about like they're going over those things in their head and they're like oh like that's what this you know all I could like it would have been so much easier if I had just gone down this path instead of you know like they're realizing they made things so much more complicated than need be and you know I feel like you've you know being in the magician energy supporting them I feel like you've bought about or you're bringing about this this transformation these like tower moments um, there's a lot of life changes happening in this person because for this person, because of you and, and yeah, I feel like you've like to kind of just inspired them to change as well. Like you've kind of shown a light on them. Like you were very uh, assertive and honest. And so you've made this person take a deeper look at themselves. There's a warning here though. If this is your energy group and only take it, if it resonates, like this is something You'll know if this is your story, you know what I mean? Like, and if it's not your story, you know, you know, stay tuned and maybe the next one will be. I'm also going to be doing a lot of random readings where I just channel messages that I get from dreams or just, you know, just pull random cards for certain specific people on this channel, like certain energy groups, you know, that are often like, like occasionally I get really specific messages that are just for like five to 10 people. So stay tuned for that, even if this isn't your reading. But anyway, what I'm feeling here is that there is a warning about being out of balance because it kind of feels like this person is going through a transformation 
And they're going to be in this Knight of Cups energy where they're going to want to give you this love offer. And I think some of you are, I think some, like Queen of Cups reverse to me in this context, I'm taking it as you were in that feminine energy, like male or female, you could be a male in the Queen of Cups energy. So even if I say female, if you know that it's, it's a man, just, you know, take it as it resonates. There's no assigned gender here. It's, it's for whoever, but it just feels like someone was in, like you were in this feminine energy and I feel like you, I feel like you kind of feel like this person just wanted what they couldn't have or they just took you for granted when you were in the Queen of Cups energy, like motherly, nurturing, supporting, loving. And I just feel like you kind of felt like this person just overlooked you or like friend zoned you or they just, you know, took you for granted. Like they, it's, it's like you kind of had to make them realize that they, they kind of had to see for themselves for one thing that the grass wasn't greener on the other side and I'm also getting that the fear of losing you had to be greater than the fear of commitment and in the past there was such a huge fear of commitment with this person that this person had and so now the fear of loss is it's like I'm seeing like 70 30 like where before it was like this person had like 70 percent fear of commitment 30 percent fear of losing you because they thought you'd always be around and now the tables have turned and it's like 70 percent fear of losing you 30 percent fear of commitment where there's you know it's a little bit more balanced now because you pulled your energy back you got out of that queen of cups energy you're like I'm not gonna you know, I'm not going to keep supporting you. I'm not going to keep chasing you. Like you, you know where to find me. You can come get me if you want me. You, you, you know, you, you turn the tables around here. But I feel like there's a warning to be careful and make sure that you have a balance. Like you don't have to, it just feels like you're kind of like in this, this reverse queen of cups energy. Like you might be lacking an emotional balance in this, in this situation. Cause it kind of feels like, like, yeah, in the past, they took you for granted. And I think that there's such a fear that they'll take you for granted again, that you're like, you know what, I'm going to play hard to get. I'm going to make them, some of you are like trying to make them jealous with other people, or you're trying to make them wonder what you're doing. And yes, psychologically, those things are having an effect on this person, but it's just saying, don't overdo it. There is a balance. You know what I mean? Like you can show this person that you care and that you love them. And also be in your power and let them know, like set those boundaries, let them know they can't take you for granted. Like you can do both things. It doesn't have to be you smothering them and asking for a commitment or you being completely cold and closed off. Like there's like a middle ground that you got to find here is, is kind of what I'm saying, where you can be that queen of cups again, but this time, you know, set those boundaries, um, I'm hearing like affirmations, like be assertive, like don't just clear your schedule for them at the drop of the hat. Don't, you know what I mean? Like don't just drop everything for them. Like let them know that if they want you, if they want to be in your life, they need to put you there. They need to, but it's like reciprocate though, meet each other halfway because kind of what I'm seeing here is that for some of you, some of you might even be angry at them because you feel like they took you for granted in the past, because you feel like they didn't see what they had in front of them. Um, and if, if this is someone that you don't want back, this I don't think this would be your reading because this feels like someone like I'm not seeing the queen in this in this spread in this energy group. I'm not seeing someone that just simply took their power back and got out of the queen of cups energy and moved on. I'm seeing someone who like deliberately is playing hard to get like someone who deliberately like might be, you know, not texting this, this other person that's, that's going through this transformation, like not texting them back right away, not, um, you know, going out and having fun and like posting it on social media, like, and you're like, you're genuinely having fun. Don't be wrong. I'm not saying it's fake, but it's like, you want this person's reaction. You want this person to chase you is kind of the energy I'm getting. But yeah, there's just a warning here to maintain a balance because it does feel like, also, I'm just hearing like, be patient with this person. Like there's a, like, you really need to find that middle ground of like being supportive and loving and understanding, but not letting them take you for granted again, not letting them walk all over you. And, you know, you need that emotional balance. Otherwise, it's going to always be a power struggle with this person. It's always going to be hot and cold chaos. This could even be like a twin flame connection just because of the the dynamics that I'm seeing here where it's like, 
one person, one person pushes, the other person pulls away, vice versa. It's like, you guys need to meet in the middle here. You need to find that common ground here. Um, cause this person is going through a transformation and you did bring, bring about this transformation with the magician energy, whether through spell work, through intention, through just, you know, conversations you guys have had just kind of, you know, I feel like you kind of shown like a light on this person. Like they felt like, like a deer in headlights, like they were in the spot, like, like you showed them things about themselves that they didn't want to see. And that typically does happen with twin flames because there's this mirroring energy where they bring up your traumas and, you know, your issues and whatnot. And you bring up theirs as well, because you guys are, you know, you're the same soul. You're so much alike. Um, even if this isn't a twin flame connection, I'm still seeing the mirroring effect going on for this energy group where it's like you guys are really triggering each other. And it's, it's kind of saying like be patient with this person too, be more gentle because this person was probably closed off for a really long time. Like they were probably, they might not be close to most of their friends or family. Like this might've been someone that it, it's kind of just saying like, put yourself in their shoes. Like step back for a minute because some of you are holding on to this anger towards this person. So you're like, no, I'm never going to be the queen of cups again. I'm never going to be taken for granted like that again. I'm never going to be, you know, it, it's like, like this fear based reaction. And it's kind of saying like, wait a minute, like no one's asking you to be taken for granted again. You know, your spirit guides are just saying balance, just ease back into that queen of cups energy, but also the queen of wands energy as well. Like find that balance between these different energies between, you know, being who you want to be and you can still set boundaries. You can still be assertive. You don't need to be cold. You don't need to play hard to get like, just simply be living your best life. And that energy itself is, is going to draw this person in. It's like, there's, yeah, there's that balance. But anyway, it's, it's kind of saying to put yourself in this person's shoes because I feel like with the death card here, it really feels like they're going through like a huge transformation. Like some of them are switching jobs, like switching career fields because they might, they, I feel like they're coming out of like a dark night of the soul process and going through like a psychic awakening kind of process because I'm getting like this like light kind of awakening energy where they're like, oh my God, like, oh my God, my family's toxic or oh my God, this job is toxic. Oh my God, like, like the, the this person in magician energy was right. Like, oh my God, they were right about my family. They were right about this job. They were right about, um, you know, going to school or not going to school. They were right about all these things. So it's, it, it's like they're, they're making the life changes, but it's a process. You know what I mean? Like there is a lot of fear. There is a lot of anxiety coming up and it's not easy either. You know, if, if this person's been this per like for you, I feel like maybe you were in the queen of cups energy, like most of your life, like you were always very like loving and nurture, nurturing, like wore your heart on your sleeve. And this person might not have, I mean, this person right here might not have been, this person might've been like the more logical type, like, you know, um, I'm hearing agnostic for some reason, like, um, you know, they might've been like the more like, well, I'll, I'll believe it if I see it, like, you know, maybe like traditionally as well, they might've had parents that weren't completely in love with each other. Like they, they, um, might have just different views of love than you do. I feel like they also might have like different love languages. So it could be that you guys are having a power struggle in that department as well, where it's like, maybe they buy you things when they're trying to show you they love you. And you like, you know, you're trying to be cuddly or get them words of affirmation and they keep buying you things. And you're like, you're both like, why aren't they accepting my love? Like, you, cause you guys are, you guys might have different love languages. So you have to kind of find that middle ground with that as well. But, um, but just, it's kind of just saying like, understand that this person has a much different perspective than you do. Like this seems like someone who's probably more logical, more, um, more balanced, maybe even like they might be love oriented deep down, but they might be more career oriented just because of like the damage that they've been through. They might be, you know, more focused on career in general at this point in their lives. I feel like maybe it's someone who's also like, even though you might see that they have a big heart and that they're very loving, they might not be like that around most people. Like this might be someone who's generally like in a position of like authority where they have to be really responsible, um, where they have people that look up to them, where they, um, they can't really take anything for granted, where it's like they have to be strong all the time. They have to put on a front all the time. So like you've broken this person open, 
but you know, your spirit guides are saying like, understand that's a scary process. Like for you, it's nothing because you're, you're naturally the queen of cups or the king of cups. Like you're naturally someone who's emotional, who's passionate, who's free spirited. This person is like deep, deep down, like their inner child might be like that, but they probably haven't been like that for years and years. So like, understand that, understand like the, the paradigm shift that's taking place. Like they're having, they're not just, I'm saying like multiple tower moments. It's not just one tower moment. It's multiple. It's, it's multiple changes. It's, it's job, family, friendships, like everything in their life, like you shaking everything up and you're changing everything for this person. So you know, those changes are, it's, it's happening fairly quickly, but it's still a process. And, you know, it, it is messy. It is scary for this person. So kind of understand just where they're coming from, that, that, that kind of energy, um, put yourself in their shoes. It doesn't mean you need to make excuses for them or baby them or anything like that. It's, it's just saying like, if they get scared, don't be quick to be like, oh, they're just a big pussy. Cause I, I do that too. Like I do that too. Like I, I, when, you know, in the past I've done that at least where it's like, if a guy gets scared, I'm like, oh, whatever, they're a big baby. And now it's like these days I'm more like balanced where I'm like, okay, like I understand this person has like, they have like a different perspective. They have a different paradigm. They, you know, they had like a different upbringing. They had, you know what I mean? Like there's different energy there. Um, so like someone who's just not used to being emotional and vulnerable, just suddenly being broken open like this, it's, it's so much scarier than like for you, you've probably been, been broken up on it a thousand times and you're like, yeah, I'm good. Like, this is who I am for this person. They probably, maybe they've never even experienced this. Some of them, they've never experienced this type these type of feelings, this type of love. Some of you, it's like, you're bringing out like childhood traumas that they had long, they, they, they didn't even know they were so affected by the childhood traumas. Some of you, it's like, you're making them look at close relationships with friends and family that they thought would be in their life forever. And now they're like, they're, you know, dealing with that. They're like, wait, this, these people are toxic. Like they're, you know, you're changing their perspective, but, but yeah, be patient and be supportive while still setting boundaries with them. Because I feel the warning here, I feel is for some of you, it's like this person's going to go through this transformation and they're going to open their heart up for the first time in their life. And like, I'm sure they've opened their heart up to people a little bit here and there. I'm not saying that this person's like heartless, but they're going to open their heart up with the Knight of Cups in like ways that they never have before. They're going to feel like a different person. They're going to feel like a sense of vulnerability that they've never felt before. And if they come to you, like if they pursue you and you're playing hard to get, playing like in the, the, you know, reverse queen of cups energy, um, like queen of swords kind of energy, they might shut back down. Like some of them are going to be like, wow, like, cause this is terrifying. You know what I mean? It's like their, their heart is open more than it's ever been in their life or it's, it's about to be. It's like I said, it's a process. This could take a few months, but it's happening and they're going to be more open than ever. So it's like, don't be in the reverse queen of cups energy. Cause then I feel like some of them too, like in the past they've had, like maybe they shut down for a reason. Um, like maybe they just, I mean, some of them were just naturally just logical types, but I feel like some of them became logical because of all the things that they went through where they're like, okay, like, like maybe in their younger years, they were very love oriented. And then like, as they got older, they started being career oriented. Like they had like a paradigm shift just because they didn't want to get heartbroken anymore. I feel like this person like doesn't handle emotions very well is what I'm feeling here. But, um, but some of them, I feel like had this pessimistic, like overly logical mindset in the past where, how do I explain this energy where it just, just, it's like self-sabotage, but they did it in a way that made them feel like they were just being responsible. Like, Oh, like, like maybe like listening to like toxic family and friends, like, you know, listening to old paradigms, old patterns, maybe, um, you know, telling themselves like, oh, I'm just going to focus on school. I'm going to focus on my money. I'm going to focus on like, you know, working out, uh, bettering my body, you know, taking care of myself, eating healthy. I'm going to focus on, um, you know, buying a new house and a new location. And, and, and it's like on the outside, it looks like, wow, like this person's like, you know, they're fulfilling their dreams. They're successful. Like this person cares a lot about their image too. So they wanted to present a sex successful image to everybody. But on the inside, it's like, they're lonely. They, they don't feel close to anybody. It's like, they, 
no one understands them. No one ha it's like they've lost touch with their heart or they did in the past until you brought that out of them again. But I just feel like the warning here is too, like as they start opening up to you, it might not look how you expect. You have to understand that. Like if this person's love language is buying you things and that's not your love language, still understand if they buy you a pair of shoes, if they take you out to dinner, if they buy you, you know, if they, they surprise you with flowers, that is their love language. That is them saying, I love you, even if it's not the same way that you would say, I love you. So I would really look into like the different love languages and kind of like grasp that kind of understanding of that. That will help you understand this person more as well. But it's also just saying like, like, I, sorry, when I channel, sometimes I just get on a tangent because there's so much information that comes through that I have to sort through and ground in the physical world. Um, and if this is resonating, please hit the subscribe button because I'm going to be doing more and more of these readings and twin flame and third party readings as well and soulmate readings. But, um, but yeah, anyway, in the past, it's like they've been overly logical and I feel like the warning here is like, if they come through this transformation and you're not there, like they open their heart up, like in ways that they never have before, like they allow themselves to be completely vulnerable. If they feel rejected by you, they're going to be like, oh my God, that was a mistake. Never again. Like they are going to shut right back down. Cause this is, they're just, they're, they're about to be so vulnerable and this is so scary. This is so, like I said, understand their perspective vulnerability is is nothing new for you you've always been vulnerable this person hasn't been imagine being really truly vulnerable for the first time in your life that is that's a very scary thing for this person you know very different upbringings and backgrounds so really put yourself in their shoes and I just feel like if they if they're in this energy and you overdo it and you're like oh wow like they're finally chasing me so I'm gonna pull away harder or I'm gonna play mind games or I'm gonna you know, make them chase me more, they're going to get in their head again. And they're going to be like, wow, like, like, I let myself be vulnerable. And then they're going to remember, they're going to be triggered by things from their past. And they're going to be like, Oh, wow, I remember why I didn't let myself be vulnerable in the past, because I always get my heart broken. Um, and this kind of vulnerability, like, just how deeply vulnerable they are, I feel like, just how deeply vulnerable they are. Like, I feel like if they were to shut down after this point, it would be really hard to ever get them to open back up again. There's like a serious warning for that because it's like, like I said, this is like for the first time in their life. They're, they're in this inner, they're coming into this energy. Again, process, I'm seeing like two to three months. Like I'm seeing like this year, like, like summer, fall. So, you know, don't get mad at them if a week from now they're, they're not, you know, in this, this, completely open energy but but you can feel the transformation that's taking place with them you you know and when you're in like a process when you're doing healing work like like you know you've you've manifested this transformation in this person so it's like you asked for this person like you asked the universe you're like okay this is my person like I want them to treat me well you have to realize too that like they're not gonna like wake up tomorrow and like be in that energy of like treating you like a queen or king there, when you ask for something, it's almost like these tower moments have to come in to get this person to that place where they'll be able to, to treat you well, to give you what you're asking for, to give you that relationship that you're wanting. If they just do it like right now, then they haven't learned any of the karmic lessons. They haven't truly like completely changed. Do you feel me? Um, so you don't want like surface level change. You don't want them to just show up tomorrow with flowers and be like, I'm sorry, I love you. Let's do it. And then two weeks later, they're back to their same old bullshit. You want them to go through this process, these, you know, dark night of the soul, like tower moments. Uh, you want them to learn to use their own intuition, to see things for themselves, to, to see where they went wrong with you, to actually put the work in, to genuinely want these changes for themselves, to make these life changes. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want this to be an overnight process. Even if you're getting impatient, it's like, you don't really want this overnight. You want long-term change with this person. You want them to really do the work. Um, and I'm not, I'm not feeling like it's going to be like a long, long time. I'm just getting like, it's not happening overnight. It's probably a few months. Um, but I'm feeling this year. For this energy group, I do, it does feel like this year. Uh, give or take a little bit. You know, it could, it could speed up a little bit. But, but, and, and you know, with healing, healing is messy. Healing is not just, po it's not positive thinking. Healing is, you know, they're going to have days when they're crying, when they're upset, when they're, 
you know, they're just in shock too. They're in shock because of all these life changes, all these things that you pointed out, or you either pointed them out, like you either said, hey, these people are toxic, or you just made them realize it. Like you just brought about these changes and you opened them up to like their spiritual intuitive side. So now they're kind of just seeing the toxic people around them for themselves. They're like, oh, like, like, wow. Like I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't aware of these things before. I wasn't aware that, you know, my mother or sister or father were toxic. I wasn't aware that my friends were toxic or the third party that I'm dating is toxic. Like I didn't know that I didn't know these things before. So it's, it's, it's a lot of scary changes for them, but, um, but yeah, they are becoming more open and they are going to be making like over time, they're going to be probably testing the waters and making little romantic gestures and then bigger ones and bigger ones. But like I said, if they open their heart up, um, and you're like, it's not enough. It's not good enough. You know, like this isn't my love language, so it's not good enough. You need to do more. Um, or they give you like a little gesture, like, Hey, like I've missed you. How are you doing? And you like ignore them. It's, it's, it's like they're, they're going to retreat. They're going to be like, Oh my God, I've been vulnerable for the first time in my life. And it's just, they're going to get in like eight of swords energy where they're going to get in their head. This is like self-sabotage. This is someone just overthinking everything, sabotaging, they're going to feel like hopeless, like 10 of swords, like they already lost you, like they don't know what to do. Um, and it's going to be like a power struggle where like they're not going to understand because they're going to be like so vulnerable with you. But it's like you guys aren't talking. So there's like a warning not to be stubborn. Otherwise, you guys are just going to get in this pattern of like both of you are kind of playing hard to get. Both of you are not talking. Both of you are, you know, don't make this person afraid to be vulnerable with you is what it's saying. Basically, don't give them a reason it's like stay in your power. I'm not saying to just like pour your heart out and be like, oh my God, I love you. Let's get married tomorrow and just like freak them out. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying like if they ask how your day is, like you can respond. Don't don't take two days to get back to them. You know what I mean? Don't um don't play head games. You know, there there's that balance. It's like you can match their match their energy basically. Match their energy. If they're if they're messaging you, like message them back. If they're sending you some memes, send them some memes back. If they're um you know, if they ask you out, like, you know, reciprocate, go out with them or ask them out again. Like don't don't try to don't play games. Just live your life. Like show them like yeah, they, they should see that you're living your life, that you're not just waiting for them, that you're not just putting everything on hold for them. Like they should see that you're genuinely confident that you're the queen of king or king or queen of wands, that you're, you know, living your best life with or without them. But um but yeah, don't don't play hard to get. Cause otherwise it's almost seems like it's just like there's gonna be this silence again between you two. It's like this cycle, this karmic cycle you guys keep repeating. So it's like don't go back to that energy of the five of wands, like two people wanting to talk to each other but they're both so stubborn and prideful and it's like she's waiting for him to reach out and he's waiting for her to reach out and you guys are both just waiting for each other and you're just stagnant and wasting all this time. Like, don't go back to that energy. Don't let this person get in their head. Really, it's going to require a lot of patience on your part and like understanding and empathy. You're going to have to, when, they, when they're in this energy, they're going to be super sensitive because like I said, they have so many life changes that they weren't expecting and so many traumas that are going to be resurfacing and they're really going to be super, even if they don't show it completely, they're going to be super sensitive and vulnerable. Some of them might be like, oh, I'm good. I'm fine. But like there, there's a lot going on internally. So really hold space for them. Really be, be a friend, be someone who, who's there to listen, to be there for them, you know, mutual support. Cause you don't want them in this energy where it's like they have like anxiety and fear and it's like. Like you don't want to be in your head and you don't want them in their head either because nine of swords is all about like negative thoughts like negative just just fears anxiety is just being in your head it's like you're it's interesting we have the eight the nine and the ten of swords so it's almost like a progression here you know where it's like you don't want this person to just be it's like they start overthinking things. They start thinking, well, maybe they did move on. Maybe they did meet someone else. And then they get in their head and they have all these anxieties. And then they feel like it's like they feel like it might be over. And then they might be going through all this pain too. And you might not even know it. It might be one of those things where it's like you're just kind of playing hard to get. You're like, they'll come to me when they come to me. And like they're messaging you and you're just like, you know, like ignoring them. Or you're, you're making them think, you're trying to make them think that you've moved on from them. 
And it's like one of those energies where it's like, okay, they might end up getting in their head and then overthinking it, having these anxieties, feeling like it's over. And then even if you guys do come back around to each other, it's it's like they'll they're they're gonna be afraid to get back in this nine of cups energy and you guys will just kind of be in a power struggle again not talking so it's it's be mindful of your energy find that balance um thank you guys for watching uh as always if you want a private reading just email me it's right below in the description box below this video i charge fifty dollars for a 30 plus minute video but the videos typically go over 30 minutes like usually most of my videos are like 45 minutes or like an hour because i make sure i answer the questions that you have and i go in depth so yeah, so anyway, thanks you guys for being here.